Rangers from Central Otago in the big freeze. This is Oturihua near Ranfurly. Clean, bracing air, bit of hoar frost, some frozen fog in the valleys. Always magnificent. That's why we can't get cameraman Ross Wilson out of those hills. Put the kettle on. The fresh pond's about to freeze over. Good night. Thank you, Jim. And not far down the road, the big southern chill hasn't just provided a pretty picture. It's also making for lots of fun. Hundreds of curlers have gathered at a frozen lake for the first national bomb spiel in six years. Eva Hayes skated along. Yes, yes, bring them up. Sweep them all away. Sweep them all away. Hot competition on frozen ice. Hundreds of curlers from as far away as Auckland meeting at remote Oturihua. How often do you get the opportunity to come and curl on the ice in central Otago? Not often. The last time Ida Byrne Dam froze up like this was in 1995. This year the ice is 15 centimetres thick, enough to put normal life on hold. Most of the farmers are fairly well organised themselves. They, uh, they feed, the, feed the sheep in lots of paddocks the day before and then just get the, perhaps get their wives to open the gate. Originating in Scotland, the sport itself is much like bowls, but with a unique vocabulary all of its own. That's four foot over the hog. That shot, David, it's right on the button. I want you to just crack the tiniest egg on it. Crack a what? Cracking an egg is just tapping the back of it enough to crack an egg, not to break it. And after hours on the ice, a bit of local antifreeze never goes amiss. Just from medicinal purposes. According to the experts, being a good curler is simple. All I need to do is put my stone in a pot lid, crack an egg, tea high, chip and lie, and avoid hogging it on the line. And then I'll avail myself a wee noggin.